Journalist AI just launched a new feature. It's auto linking, and it has that right amount of automation, AI, and your personal touch. Now, this is going to help you improve your SEO game by having internal links and external links on your posts. So let me show you how you can do this right now. What's up, everyone? This is Journalist AI, and if you haven't heard of them, I've made a video in the past for their auto blogging system, which I think is really good because they have a highly customized automation system. Now they brought this new feature, which is auto linking, and it's going to help you with your automation score. Like it says right here, it's going to help you build internal and external links. Now the internal links are going to help you rank on search engines because viewers are going to stick longer on your domain. That means that they're going to jump to one page to another because they're going to find interesting links inside of your blog and external links are going to help you give that credibility to your website. We have other sites that link to with this system. Now, this is like I said in the beginning, it has that right touch of AI because it's going to analyze other websites that are great to link in for internal and external links, that automation that's going to do this practically the whole thing and that right touch of personalization where you can decide where you want to link and what you want to link from the list that they provide. OK, so let's go into our dashboard. And this is journalist AI and the auto linking feature is right here. Now, before you get started, obviously, you have to connect your website and that you're going to do it over here on blog automation integrations. Go ahead and create a new integration and select the technology that you're using. For example, WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, etc. You have all these and even external API, which practically lets you connect to any type of site. Now, connecting is not difficult. I'll show you that in the end. Right now, let's jump over to the auto linking feature. Now, in this case, I have it connected to my demo site, which is my WP SAS master test site. And I have a few posts that are already created with a journalist AI. So I'll give you a quick example of a post created with journalist AI. So here we go. I have this right here, but you can see this is really plain. Now there's no links inside of here, just a video. And I didn't add images into this particular post. But you can see there's no internal or external links. And what we want to do is obviously have AI do this for us. We don't want to spend days, weeks or even months to do the internal and external linking by yourself or manually. So in this case, this is going to help you help us do this. All right. So let's go into journalists. OK, and we're going to get started by generate audit. All right. So in this case, we're going to select our website that we have integrated previously. In this case, this is the, my demo site, SAS Master. And we want to synchronize articles and you want to do this every single time that you have new articles done, right? So it's going to automatically find these articles, pages, everything that's going on on your site for this. Okay, so let's give it a few seconds. Here we go. It's done. And this is the one we want to work with just for testing purposes. Here it is. I am going to select it and you can select more if you like. In this case, let's do this one for testing, right? So in this case, I can go ahead and see if it has audits. It has zero audits in this case. Uh, go view the website URL. In this case, I don't want to. I know which website it is and I can view the rest of the pages for the rest of the blocks if I have more. OK, in this case, I'm going to select that one and the internal information that we want to add first. First off, we want to add the sitemap for the internal link case. OK, so in this case, we're going to need to find our sitemap on our website. So let's go into my WordPress site. In this case, I am using SEO press for my sitemap. But any SEO plugin free or paid will have the sitemap. And if you don't have a sitemap, sitemap, you definitely need to have an SEO plugin to have something like that, because I mean, that's really important for your site, right? So let's add the sitemap here. Let's go ahead and paste it. Let's go ahead and test and preview links. Here we go. Here's all the links that it read automatically. Now, if you want to filter the internal linking so it doesn't link to, for example, in this case, all my posts are with the domain and then the page. But if I had, for example, if everything was after blog, then I can filter this by doing that. All right. For example, test preview links and only this page is available. If there were several pages after blog, those would only be listed. And those are the ones that we would be using for the internal links. In this case, I'm going to keep it open because this is just a demo site. All right. And then we're going to jump over to the external link. All right. So in internal linking, we have, for example, include links. So if I know that there's a link that I definitely want to add, for example, this demo page is about coffee. Maybe I want to add some coffee shops, something about a coffee brand, etc. And I definitely want to link to them. 
or maybe some affiliate links, this is the way to do it. Go ahead and add the links right here. So for example, if you're affiliated with um, Chemex, which is a brand for uh, coffee brewers, well, you're affiliated, add the link there, right? Enable external linking. Yes, in this case, we, we do want to do it. In case you don't, go ahead and turn this off. Target country. So the AI does its job. Go ahead and select the country where you want to rank, right? Include external sources, for example, the website URL, and we add it right here. So only links from these websites will be included. Leave blank to include all websites. So in this case, we're going to leave it blank, right? And exclude external sources. So for example, if we're in coffee and we don't want it to auto link, to our competitors, then definitely add the site right here. So for example, I don't know, coffeecompetitor.com, coffeecompetitor2.com, et cetera, and add them right here. Or if you don't want it to link, for example, to, I don't know, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, you don't want those to be the links that it goes to, add them right here, okay? And once you're ready with the settings, we're gonna go ahead and jump into generate, and it's gonna start the audit process, okay? So right here, it's starting, and these are the ones that I've tested already. Let's give this a few seconds for it to finish, and I'll show you how this is going to work. There we go. The audit just finished. So let's go check it out and see the suggestions that it provided for us. So first off, we have the anchor. That is where it's going to add the external link. So I can click on this and view kind of a preview of the blog and see where it's going to be added. So in this case, it's going to be Costa Chica, and we can find that in the actual blog. So if you go to the blog, it's right here, right? Let's find another one. Okay, for example, Mexican Espresso. So that's another anchor text that we have here. So let's go ahead and find it. And here it is, but there's no external link as of now. Okay, so these are the suggest suggestions that it's providing for us. So for this anchor text, it wants to add this link, but we don't have to stick with this one if we want. We can click on this and we have other suggestions that we can select from, all right? So based on Costa Chica. Now, maybe this is not something that we want to add, so we can just go ahead and skip it and not even select it, all right? But how about for this one? For example, Pluma Hidalgo, we can check this out, see these links. So Canopy Point Cafe, Pluma Hidalgo, Mexican Rose. Okay, that's a better selection for this one. Mexican Espresso, Mexican Carajillo, or we can select something else. Um, Mexican Mocha Coffee, we'll add something like that to this, right? So we're going to say, yes, I do want this one, and I do want to select that one. And if I want to see the other one, pour over method, and here's a suggestion. But let's see if it's actually the page that we want to link to. So we can actually open this up and preview it. So this is a page that AI found using journalists to link to what we want. So yes, this is about a pour over coffee, a manual method. So we do want to select that one. And just like that, we can go ahead and select more if we like, right? So in this case, we are good to go. Three links, let's go ahead and insert the links. Let's go ahead and apply it. And do consider this, that this is not reversible. So make sure that you select the ones that you want, all right? Okay, so these three have been added to this blog post. Let's go ahead and refresh it and find these. Remember, there's no external links found here, right? Let's go ahead and refresh it. And here it is. We have the first one. Let's go check it out. All right, so again, maybe you want to avoid linking to Amazon. Where's the second one? Here it is, Mexican Espresso. Let's go ahead and open this up in a new link. Here it is. Mexican mocha recipe. Okay, that could be nice. And the third one is this one, pour over methods. And here it is. That's how easy it is to add these external links. Now, in this case, if there weren't any internal links. We would view them right here because we would be able to select it from the internal links that we have because obviously it's the same domain. In this case, I didn't have any internal links for this particular site. Why? Because there's not a whole lot of blocks inside of here, right? Now, that's how easy it is to generate the audits. Go ahead and start off with your in website integrated, select the articles, internal links, external links, etc. Then you're going to view all of them here in audits. And if you want to view the audit articles specifically, we click on them here and here it is. For example, that's the one that I've just worked on right now. So it takes me to that particular page super easily. Now to show you how to integrate to, in this case, WordPress, like I've done, like I said, I'm going to show you step by step. So let's go to integrations. Go to new integration. We are going to name this and I'm going to say SAS test and I'm going to add my site. Okay, here it is. I am going to connect. Now, what it does right here is making sure that it's not being blocked. If it is, you'll need to unblock it. Um, for example, if you are using a, a firewall, a bot blocker like um, Cloudflare, etc., it'll give you that warning here. So you first take care of that, right? In this case, we're good to go. Let's hit next and then the admin login username and the application password. 
Let me show you how to get that. Okay, so let's go into our WordPress site. We're going to go into users. We're going to go to this user, which is an administrator. So in the editing of this user, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to create a new application password name. So let's name this test for video because I will be deleting it. Let's create it. Here's the password. And yes, I will be deleting it. Okay, we're going to add it here. The user is developer. And this is the second method that they have admin login password, which I don't recommend. So this is much easier to implement. Plus there's less sensible data being used. Okay. Now let's test the fetch endpoints. Good to go. So we can website connect, scan conflict plugins, etc. Everything's good to go and test pointing endpoints. So publish draft post. So yes, this is able to do the draft post. Why? Because we have the access on the, this particular user. So I'll hit next. Now we have the default integration settings. For example, the author from that side, for example, in this case, SAS master, the status, do we want to schedule draft pending, etc. So it doesn't post automatically and all the settings for this particular integration for this site. Now that's how you're going to integrate in this case, a WordPress site to use journalist AI and start auto linking right away. So practically it's super easy to integrate, super easy to use. And like I mentioned in the beginning, again, it's that fine tuning that it has with the AI, the automation and that personal touch that we're going to give it. But that's how you're going to auto link internal and external links on your website using journalist AI auto linking. And if you want to check it out, link we provided in the description with a special code that I want to provide. And that's a wrap.